How did this ever happen? We didn't plan it. It just unfolded. To better understand, let's go back to 1987, when Rachel and Andy Berliner were about to have a baby girl. We didn't have much money at the time, and we realized that we had to earn a living. We had to put her through college. They lived in a modest home, and as vegetarians often ate fresh food from their garden, which they still do. But one fateful day, a simple task brought inspiration. I went to the Helford store and bought a ready-made meal, and it was really horrible. So we said there must be other people like us that would like convenience food that is healthy but tastes good. It was the birth of an organic frozen food business, not exactly the TV dinners you might remember from your childhood. Life got busy. Andy and Rachel began developing the product in their kitchen with friends, family, and their newborn infant. They named the baby Amy, but struggled with what to call the company. Every name we thought of sounded like a health food store. It was the Green Garden. It was uh, no, naturally yes. healthy. And so my mom said, I have a great name. Name the company after Amy and call it Amy's. I feel like that we're feeding everybody personally. Their tortillas are hand stretched for better texture, then hand wrapped, and in some cases, delicately, but quickly placed in the packaging, unless it's a day when Andy helps out. Hola, buenos dias. I'm the only person where you can add another person to the production line and slow down production. También. We make brews, we season things overnight. We develop flavors. We don't take any production shortcuts. So uh, the food tastes just like you made it at home and then froze it. Amy's was one of the first organic vegetarian frozen food options out there. And today, they're still one of the top natural frozen food brands. We make um, 600,000 meals every day, 128 frozen products and 56 shelf stable. And now the company's evolved into special diets. Despite their success, the Berliners still live in the same home where their company and daughter were born, though there have been renovations to the barn and additions to the gardens. They remain rooted in every sense to their original ideals. I really feel that what we're doing is making a big difference in people's lives, making it easier for them when they're challenged for time. It makes a difference. <laughs>